man came to Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa He told him, Ya ibn Rasulullah, people are discussing with me about the existence of Allah. What proof can I have to prove to them the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He told him, have you ever been to a ship? He said, yes. Has it ever been a case where the ship goes through a storm? He said, yes. He said, you saw the ship swinging right and left and right and left. He said, yes. He said, did it come to a point where there is no hope? You think that the ship is going to sink? He said, yes. He said, at that point, did you feel your heart connected to something? Some power? Now, in these days, not many of us go on ships, but some of us go on planes. I don't know if you've been through a plane and go through a turbulence. And you see as the plane starts to go through bumping up and down, up and down, your heart is also bumping up and down, up and down. And you start getting so scared. He said, at that moment when you feel that there is no hope, that the ship is going to be broken, the storm is going to overtake the ship, when you feel that there is no hope, at that instant, do you feel something in your heart? There is some connection to some power. He said, yes. He said, that is a proof of the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That power that you are connected to, that's when you feel there is no hope, that instinct, which kind of connects you to the Creator, to that power, is the proof of the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the fitrah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept into the heart of every human being. Even those who deny the existence of Allah. And we'll talk about that tomorrow, inshallah, when we talk about the cause and the effect. Tomorrow, inshallah, we'll mention this. Even those, they can connect to some source, something. This fitrah, this instinct that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept in the heart of the human beings. Now, Amir al muminin said, Allah sent the messengers so that they would revive this fitrah in the people, would remind them, and would remind them about what they forgot of his blessings, of his ni'am. Everything you have in this dunya is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They come to remind them. There are some values which people by instinct know they are good, but sometimes they choose not to obey them or follow them. If you go to any nation today, any human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, you ask him, is lying good? Is lying a good thing? People will say, no, it's not a good thing. No one likes to be called a liar. Because it's not a good thing. Is generosity something good? You say, yes, it's good to be generous. There are certain characteristics, akhla, attributes, values that are known by instant to be good. And some that are known to be bad. The prophets, the Quran, come to also revive these ideologies in the minds of the people. To remind them that lying is bad, being truthful is good, obeying Allah is good, and so on and so forth. 